Hello, Chris. Uh, I know your name, but uh, well, our spectators do not, so probably you could uh, introduce yourself. Well, Michael, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, my name is Chris Principe. I'm the uh, publisher and owner of Financial IT Magazine and the new Fin Future Magazine. Um, uh, what is your interest in our technology? Could you just say a few words? Well, it was very interesting to me when I first uh, heard about it. And in our uh, initial I issue of Fin Future Magazine, which is a magazine about the future, but with the financial undertones, we uh, wanted very much to have an article from Antoli in this issue, and we do. It's actually the first article in our magazine, so we can really introduce people to not only a revolutionary new magazine, but a revolutionary new technology. Uh, are you from the United States? Yes, uh, I'm originally from Manhattan. Uh, I live now down in Florida. Uh, you seem to be a financial expert. What is your interest in the future transportation technologies? Well, my background is in the financial world, uh, having done many different areas in software and in banking uh, and, and in consulting. But my interest really in, uh, in the technology is how it can change things for people's lives, which will also impact the financial aspects of their lives. So for me, it's very interesting that this uh, new technology uh, can really be, um, you know, the internet of transportation. And with that, we'll also need to be, you know, a financial structure underneath it that we'll be able to use on the internet too. As far as I understand, your interest is uh, purely of a financial nature. That is that you see the potential that you and people, investors, can make money the people that support the project that are investing in it. Is that true? Well, I think it is a great opportunity for, for people to get in there and make money, but for, for me it's more about how when this technology gets out into the market it will change people's lives. I think uh, because the cost of transportation goes down, people's mobility goes up, and as a result their ability to increase their own personal financial wealth will increase. Thank you. And uh, what are your impressions? Well, well, returning from the financial spheres to the transport uh, ones, uh, what are your impressions once you have seen our uh, rolling stock? Well, for me, of course, it's very interesting in how you're moving people. But uh, I look at global trade as one of the things that really powers the world's economy. And I, I think when the, you add in the cargo carrying component that this new technology actually has available, the cost of, of moving goods and shipping between countries goes down, which makes it more accessible to more people. So to me, that's pretty exciting. Uh, how do you access the quality of products that uh, come from Belarus, with, which uh, until now wasn't considered a very, uh, say, um, uh, famous country for manufacturing transportation means like cars or anything like that? Well, I think it's really interesting in terms of some of the materials and, and the way things are done. I mean, you know, one thing that struck me in particular is I had a very interesting description of the, the engine or the motor that powers this and the battery technologies was also quite state of the art. So it really seems to compare very strongly with what's going on in other places and, and in certain spots maybe is a little ahead. Uh, I would say that uh, I'm, maybe I, I'm not a very uh, big uh, technical expert but uh, my idea is that the thing that's uh, important, which is of utmost importance in this transportation, is the track structure and not the, well, the engine, motor wheels and all this stuff, aerodynamics for sure, but uh, the, the track structure, which is made of slim rails or string rails and just a truss at maximum, no beams, no stuff like that, is which struck me most. Uh, what do you think of the track structure? Well, you know, when I was first explained to it, and given the, the 400 meter distance, you know, was, for me the first thing was 
to go financially and say that the cost of construction has to be uh, at a great advantage of what is commonly used in transportation today where you need to have physical structures built very close to each other. So uh, that to me struck me as a, as a great component of what will make this technology accessible is just the, the cost of the construction and the how much less construction you need to do. So it should be time to market, should also be quite quicker. Thank you. Uh, and uh, maybe the last or one of the last questions, uh, do you view any perspectives of cooperation between you, your magazine and uh, Anatoly, our chief designer, uh, uh, and the Skyway project? How do you view it? Well, or what, what, what are your plans are? Well, you know, interestingly, uh, next week in Geneva is one of the largest international banking conferences uh, that is uh, sponsored by SWIFT, which is the organization be that moves money for the banks, right? And we're going to be giving out 3,000 copies of our magazine for free, which has the lead article from Anatoly about Skyway. So I'm expecting next week as I'm walking around, uh, Cybos is the name of the event, as I'm walking around Geneva, that I'm going to get a lot of feedback from the financial community about what is this technology, where, where does it fit in, what's the potential of it. And I think that will be a, a good measure for, for us to see where the financial community stands on this. As far as my own plan, I'm very interested in continuing uh, a series of, of articles in each issue coming up that will document the process that's going on here, particularly once there's a live uh, test track ready. I'm also hoping to be at that uh, inaugural release of that uh, test in Belarus. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, thank you. Uh, is there anything else that I haven't asked you, but you would like to say addressing to our uh, Skyway investors and partners? Yeah, I think in my closing remarks, I would say, you know, I'm always very much more interested in people increasing their personal wealth. And I look at this project, one, by the, the funding and the financing has been really open to uh, allow anybody, not just big investors, to come in and, and steal away, say, a lot of the, the profit and share, but that it's open to anybody to invest. As once this technology gets out into the field, it'll be open to people to be able to move themselves and their goods at much lower cost. So it really strikes me as being very accessible to those people that need it the most and in today's world get it the least. Thank you very much. Uh, it's very pleasant to hear that and let it be. Yep. Thank you. It was very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah.